Welcome back guys to another video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the top two lowest down payment programs for the first time buyer or anyone that's looking to buy a primary property to live in. I will also tell you what the terms and the down payments are for these programs and give you real time example with numbers to show you which program is the best program for you on the long run. So you definitely want to stay till the end. So let's get started. Before I get on the board and start explaining these programs to you, first you want to make sure that your loan that you're looking to get on this property that you're going to buy is a conforming conventional loan. And how you can do that is two ways. Number one, you can ask your loan officer or you can Google uh, conforming loan limit and your county. So for example, we're going to do Alameda County. This is the county that I'm in. So we're going to put in conforming loan limit Alameda County in the, in the year, uh, just like this on the screen. And then once you put that in there, as you can see that once you put Alameda County, it gives you the conforming loan limit right up on top. Now, if you don't see it on top for your county, you can also scroll down and look at multiple websites. There's one called loanlimits.org. Click that and it'll give you your county's conforming loan limit. So for Alameda County, the conforming loan limit is 970,800. So if I'm buying a property here, say for 950, I'm going to put some money down. So my loan amount is going to be below that 97800. That means it's a conforming loan, conforming conventional. It falls under it falls under the conforming loan limit. That means it's not a jumbo loan. But say if you're buying a property in Alameda County and the purchase price is going to be above that amount, say 1.2 million, now you're going to need a, a jumbo loan program and these programs that I'm going to talk about will not apply to you. So you want to do this exercise and after you do the exercise and you, and you, can, and you can see that you're, you fall on, in that conforming loan limit, then these programs are going to work wonderful for you. So let's get right to the board. Um, so you, the two programs that I'm going to talk about today are FHA loan and conventional loan. Um, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons, get into the terms after. Okay, so let's get right to it. Pros, the FHA program is going to have the lowest interest rate. Their interest rates are very competitive. Number two, it's going to have the lowest down payment compared to these two programs. Um, and then the, the negatives are it will have a high monthly PMI, also known as MI on that side. These words are interchangeable. Whenever you put less than 20% down, you're going to have mortgage insurance. So that's what that is. It'll have a high mortgage insurance. Um, number two, upfront one-time um, PMI. Uh, FHA charges you a finance charge to do business and that's usually rolled into your loan. So whatever your principal balance is, it takes a percentage of the loan amount and adds that on to your loan. So if your loan amount say is 400,000, it's a percentage of that. And now with the upfront added on, it might be like 408,000. Don't quote me on the percentage, uh, but it does have a one-time percentage charge that gets added to your principal balance. Number three, um, it's gonna have a higher mortgage payment compared to the other loan and that's primarily because the uh, monthly PMI is high and also you're putting uh, less of a down payment, which I'm gonna get into in a second. All right, now moving on to the conventional loan. The pros are, uh, it's gonna have a lower MI, which is called the PMI on this side, same thing. Lower MI is gonna have a lower mortgage payment and it's gonna have no upfront MI or PMI. So they don't charge it a uh, one time finance charge that gets added to your loan amount. They don't have that on this side. So conventional loans don't have that. The negatives are um, it's going to have a tad bit, a little bit of a higher interest rate and it's going to have a higher down payment. Now let's move on to the terms. So when I talk about terms, I'm specifically talking about the down payment. What is the down payment requirement for both of these programs? So for the FHA, you can go uh, as low as 3.5%. For the conventional, you can go as low as 5% down. I just wanted to take a second guys and thank you for watching my content and to tell you how much I appreciate you guys. If you're getting real value out of this video, please, please like our video, leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because when I hear back from you, it gives me happiness and confidence to put more work like this out there for you. Thank you so much. I love you all. So now that we've looked at 
both of these programs on the board and seen the pros and cons, let's look at a real time scenario. So let's suppose that we're purchasing a single family home here in Alameda County and uh, we have a 720 credit score. So under the FHA program, the purchase price will be 800,000, credit score is 720, down payment is 3.5% or $28,000 in its dollar equivalent. And the rate on this would be 4.361%. The PMI on this would be $670.43. So P&I plus your PMI, your total payment would be $4,585.88. Now, let's look at the conventional loan. Purchase price is gonna be the same, 800,000. Credit score, 720. Down payment, 5%, or its dollar, it's dollar equivalent, $40,000. Interest rate, 5.220%. Mortgage insurance, $247. Total monthly payment, P&I plus mortgage insurance, is gonna be 4,429.64. Now, the difference between these two payments is gonna be $156 per month. So you guys got to see both of the programs on the board and saw how there's a payment difference. So key factors here, the FHA loan is going to have the lowest down payment, a really good interest rate, but a very high mortgage insurance. So if you, if it's not in your budget that, to, that allows you to put 40, 50 K, then the FHA program is a wonderful program to utilize to get in the property because none of these programs have a prepayment penalty. So you can buy the house, with the FHA program and in three, four years, uh, as your property value continues to rise and you continue to pay your mortgage payment and your mortgage payment mortgage amount starts to decrease, there's a formula called LTV, loan to value. So uh, when your loan amount goes down and your value goes up, when that formula, when the LTV is at 80%, you can go ahead and refinance and get rid of your mortgage insurance. Um, and you can just go into a regular conventional program. Now, on the flip side, if you have the down payment, um, and you're able to put down that 40, 50 K, that 5% that we discussed on the conventional side, then the conventional program is going to be a better program. Yes, it has a tad bit of a higher interest rate than the FHA, but the mortgage uh, insurance is significantly lower. And also you don't increase your principal balance with that upfront mortgage insurance. So if you don't want your principal balance to go up and you don't want a higher mortgage insurance, the conventional program is going to be a great program for you. I know in the, in the beginning of the video, I had promised that I'm gonna tell you which program is gonna be the best for you. If you have the down payment, the higher down payment, the conventional program is the one to go with. But if you're in a, on a budget, then the FHA is a great, great, great program for you. That's it for today, guys. If there's something I left out in this video and you want me to answer, please leave me a comment below and I will make sure to get to your question down below. Please like our video and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, this is Karan Singh with Optimal Loans.